Welcome to FNG Match Ask Atul Jo series. In today's episode, I have a question from a reader who asks, in your experience, have you noticed any pattern in GMAT or GPA for applicants accepted to top MBA programs? I would like to start off with the definition of a top MBA program. Any program in the top 15 list of US MBA programs, top three list in the UK, top two in France, top two in Spain, top two in Singapore, top two in Germany, and top three in Canada counts for me at least as a top MBA program. The first thing you must understand is the GMAT scoring trends. In the past decade, the median GMAT has increased from 710 to 720 for top schools. The interesting aspect is that in the last year itself, all top schools saw the scores improve by 2 to 5 points. For example, Stanford's mean GMAT has increased from 734 to 737. Harvard's median remained the same at 730. Wharton's increased from 732 to 733. Boots remains unchanged at 730. Columbia has increased from 727 to 729. LBS score increased from 701 to 7 8. Haas mean GMAT increased from 725 to 729. NYU Stones from 722 to 731. Tux from 723 to 726. Kellogg is perhaps the only top school that saw the average GMAT score decrease from 730 to 729. For a safe score, you must target 730. If you're stuck in the 670 to 700 range, I would recommend that you switch to GRE by the second attempt. For some applicants, GMAT is just not the test for them. Schools are now open to accepting GRE score. So you don't have to worry too much about the GMAT and unnecessarily invest six months on the test instead of focusing on the application essays and recommendation letters. For all top schools, the GPA range is between 3.7 and 3.9. So if your score falls below 3.7, you need a good narrative explaining your additional experiences while pursuing your undergraduate degree that cost you time and which led to a relatively lower GPA. I've seen applicants with entrepreneurial interest or a personal setback, a health crisis or crisis in the the family struggle to maintain a 3.7 plus GPA. But there are ways to mitigate lower GPA. One is by taking online courses in statistics, calculus, and other quant-oriented courses. Regardless of your GMAT or GPA or GRE, schools are looking at your con skills. Any effort to bring your scores up in your con section will help you stand out. If in both the GMAT or GRE or GPA, your con score is low, then your admission chances go down drastically. So invest your time in GMAT preparation from May to August for round one applicants or September to November 15th if you are a round two applicant. For applicants targeting European schools, you can get into the program with a 700 or 690 and even a GPA that is between 3.3 to 3.7. For these schools, it's all about your experience. I hope you got value from my insights. If you want a free evaluation of your profile for an MBA or master's application, reach out to me atuljos at store.fngmat.com slash contact hyphen fng. Gmail.